Good morning. I'm in the process of uploading my daily devotional. And I have an article that I want to share with you guys. But first, we're going to go over the good news. The good news is, in the blink of an eye, we are going to be home. We are going to be face-to-face with our Savior, Jesus. Ephesians 1, verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior and you've repented, repent means a change of mind. Metanoia. We live for Christ. We put our faith and trust in Jesus. Not these world leaders. And in this country, that includes Trump. I'll say it. It includes Trump. I don't vote. I don't trust any of them. I definitely don't trust Biden. But one thing I will say is Trump did not want a one world government. Biden does. That's why I don't think he can. In order, <coughs> in my opinion, I could be wrong, but in order, my opinion, in order for prophecy to be fulfilled, he can't become president again. But, I mean, God's ways are not our ways, you know. So, I could be wrong about that, you know. Um, maybe he'll change his mind. Change his mind, excuse me, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. I think they're going to steal the election again. I pray we're not here. We, we may not even be here for the next election. I pray we're not. Ephesians six eleven put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The devil is out there to destroy. And when we give our life to Christ, we have a bullseye on our back and he knows where to attack each person. Someone's that all of the above button like me. But we armor up. He was defeated. He's defeated at the cross. He cannot win. He won't win. He's a loser. So armor up. Whatever you're going through, I promise you, you're not going to be going through it much longer. I know I keep saying that, but you're really not. You're not going to be going through it much longer. Do I see us being here another few years? Absolutely not. Heck, we might not even be here by... We might not even be here by the end of the year. Heck, we might not even be here by the... My daughter's uh, wedding on the 16th. Oh. She's going to look so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to have to bring a lot of tissues. Oh, um. Hang in there, family. Time short. Now the end begins. Oh, and I um, I saw Watch Woman's video about Hal Turner. Um, I will no longer be reporting anything from Hal Turner as well. He's anti-Israel, and um, yeah, I, I, I won't be making any reports from that guy anymore. I support Israel 100%. They have a right to defend themselves. Israel is the apple of God's eye. The article I have from Now the End Begins, the United Nations should be defunded, I agree, as they condemn Israel for defending themselves. Demanding a ceasefire with zero concessions from Hamas. Wow. You know, as Christians, you know, we, we support Israel. We, def we, we defend Israel. We support Israel. And it's tough, guys. It's tough to see the things happening that are happening right now in the world. But we got to remember, we were told this would happen. We know why this is happening. You know, this picture I'm, I'm looking at right now, who knows? You know, Christ could be somewhere in that picture. It's the main picture on my video. It, it's tough to read these articles. But, um, this is prophecy. The United Nations swears in its charter to maintain international peace and security and save succeeding generations from the scourge of war. So why has it sided with Hamas against Israel? Because if Hamas... Hezbollah, all, all those, you know, the Palestinians that, that attack Israel, the ones that attack Israel. I'm not saying all Palestinians, I'm not saying that. Just the ones that do these attacks, you know. If it would stop, 
it wouldn't be war like this, you know. They have a right to defend themselves. Remember, the Bible said all eyes will be on Israel. Rapture could happen any time, guys. Our world is filled with seeming contradictions. Like these, for example. Black Lives Matter. Dedicated to the preservation and protection of the black man. Yet, their riots in 2022 killed scores of black people at their own hand. Retired police chief David Dorn himself, a black man, was the first victim. His life didn't matter, in their opinion. That's sad. That's sad. That's really sad. I guess black lives matter thought that his life didn't matter, you know? That's really sad. All these groups that proclaim to want peace in the world, you know? Wow. Antifa says that they're an anti-fascist organization. Yet their tactics to spread their message are fear, intimidation, and violence. On a level that would make Joseph Goebbels proud. Goebbels, Goebbels. G-O-E-B-B-E-L-S. Mm. Lastly, the United Nations. Their charter says that they are dedicated to global peace and harmony. Even quoting the Bible in Isaiah 2, verse 4. Satan knows. Satan could read scripture. Satan's a snake. Satan's a deceiver. I mean, quote scripture, Isaiah 2, verse 4. And amazingly, hate the Jews to seek to destroy the nation of Israel that brought us the Bible, they quote. The prophet Zephaniah foretold the fate of the United Nations long ago, and the judgment stands waiting for its fulfillment. Zephaniah 3, verse 8. There wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Until that day, that I will rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, upon all my fierce anger. Sorry. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. The UN is firmly standing behind Hamas. We know the things Hamas has done. I'm not going to repeat it because it's so... It, it makes me cry. It's disturbing. It's, it's evil. It's satanic. It's sickening. It's monstrous. The UN standing behind them who cut out the largest single day I'm going to leave that word out. You never know what they're going to censor you for. Just um, elimination, let's say, of the Jews since the Holocaust. For that reason alone, they have disqualified themselves forever as a peacekeeping force for good. I agree. They most certainly are not. They're not. Zephaniah and many of the prophets show us a day where the world is gathered together as a unified body. Brought together by the Lord for the purpose of their own destruction. Your King James Bible clearly shows you the New World Order, well, the Great Reset is what they're calling it, and the One World Government coming together in our day, and we see this happening before our eyes. As we watch, we will be the go uh, as we watch will be the government of Antichrist and his minions. Antichrist will arrive at the pre tribulation rapture of the church as Paul shows us as his minions at the United Nation are busy decorating his office over in New York City wow you know they're calling it the Great Reset you know and I'm, I'm gonna this is outside of the article but I'm just gonna mention this has anybody still seen those purple street lights you know um I was talking to a friend of mine saying, Oh yeah, they were just a mistake and you know. 
I don't believe that. Think about this. How long have we had streetlights? <laughs> many, 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 many years. <laughs> All of a sudden, a year or two ago, oops, accident. They were sent out purple by mistake. Well, if that was the case, they usually fix it. They don't leave the accident up there. Those purple street. But what do we, where, where are the conspiracy theorists? You know, that's fine. Let them think what they want. We know why those purple street lights are up there. Because if it was an accident, like they're claiming, like a lot of people think, they would have been fixed. You know, everything is being prepared for the one world government. Banks are starting to shut down. Because said the bank, Wells Fargo, which is like a hop, skip, and a jump from my house. They said that they're merging with the bank on precinct line down the street, which is maybe uh, several minutes away, depending on traffic. How oh, they're merging with them. After all these years, they're merging. They're cutting banks because they're struggling. The current currency, as we know, is being eliminated. And they're trying to be sneaky about it. Most of the world doesn't see because they're doing it little by little. But we see because we're looking for the Lord's return. We have Christ in, living in us. So we see what a lot of the world doesn't see. And that's, that's a blessing. Thank you, Jesus, that me and my brothers and sisters see. Some of this I may not be able to read. Um, let me see. Defunding the United Nations to save Israel and the world from Hamas and other terrorists. From the New York Post, the Office of the Bodies High Commission on Human Rights took 2X, formerly Twitter, this week to indirectly accuse the Jewish state of war crimes. <sighs> Ever since Hamas began the conflict with its barbaric slaughter of... We all know what they're doing. I'm not going to read all these words because they're very graphic. Um, but we know what they're doing. The United Nations has demanded a ceasefire. Israel unilaterally stops attacking in exchange for zero concessions from Hamas. Wow. The General Assembly rejected a resolution to condemn Hamas for all these savage attacks. Indeed, Secretary General Antonio Guterres justified the terror atrocities by saying they did not happen in a vacuum. Wow. Oh my God. This is hard, y'all. It really is. This is tough. This is, this is prophecy. We are not going to be here another few years. We may not even be here by the end of the year. Whenever you, your birthday is, you either may not be here for your next birthday or this will be your, your last birthday here. I, I truly, now I could be wrong, but I am like 99% sure that I'm not. Israel has the right to defend themselves and they're not going to back down and they, they shouldn't back down because then the terrorists build themselves back up again and, and strike them again. So the Santa Christ is going to come out after all of these attempts to get Israel to stop, fall. The Antichrist is about to come out and he's going to be the only one to stop this. Of course, it's going to be a false peace. We're close. We're very close. No surprise from its founding, the United Nations has added dictators and human rights abusers globally through a pretense that they are to be listened to as seriously as, if not more seriously than, Democrats. I don't trust Democrats. Well, I don't know if I'm going for that. I don't trust anybody in the government. In its utter failure to achieve its goals, the world body resembles its inept precursor, the League of Nations. But the League failed through weakness, whereas the United Nations actively works to harm the world. 
Remember, Hamas is still along with Hezbollah and the Houthis, Houthis, whatever that name is, launching rockets at Israel civilians. Nothing's being said about that. No, everybody's saying for Israel to stop. They didn't start this thing. Hamas, oh man. Oh, I feel like crying right now. Wow. My prayers go out to my prayers go out to the Jewish people. And actually the good Palestinians, the ones that just want to live in peace and don't like any of this. Because we are to pray. Because there's there's people that are losing children. Mothers, husbands, wives, fathers, sons, daughters. A Hamas rocket struck in his early kindergarten on Friday. Wow. I, I can't imagine. My, my little bubby, he's uh, going to be three. And actually, my daughter's thinking of homeschooling him. And I hope she does. Where are the thunderous calls for that to stop, huh? This is an outrage. Wow. This is a sick, evil, twisted world. <coughs> There's a, a carnival. It says Portugal on the tent over by the mall down the street. And, um... Well, I, I think it's a carnival. It's a, it, it's a circus. I don't know if that... I haven't seen what they if they have rides or anything there, but it's, you know, they travel, you know, but it's his Portugal on it, you know, and it's over by the Northeast Mall. Um, anybody that's in this area, it's over by the, the Northeast Mall. I was uh, thinking about going up there with my daughter and my little bubby, my grandson, and my daughter, she says, and I mentioned this in my last video, at first we were gonna, but then she says, sorry, that's my noisy bed. She says, mom, you know, um, they're telling everybody to stay away from large gatherings and Things like that are prime targets for attacks. And I said, yeah, you're right. But I'm grateful that she's aware. A lot a lot of kids her age aren't, you know. I'm not saying they all aren't. I'm I'm not tooting my daughter's horn, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not, you know, putting her on a pedestal or anything, you know. Um I, I can see people right now, oh, you're putting your daughter on a pedestal and no, no, I'm not doing that. There's a there there are a lot of kids her age that see. But 20-year-olds, they usually don't, you know. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful that she sees. But it's really sad when we live in a world where we're too nervous to even take our kids and our grandchildren to a circus. You know? I remember. I don't like clowns, man. I don't like clowns. I know it sums back from when my mother and my father went to be at the Lord a few years ago. Um, took me to a circus, I think it was five, and the clown came up to me and says, well, hello, little girl. He scared the bejeebies out of me. He says, well, hello, little girl. I think he said, are you married? Which is kind of creepy for a clown to say, you know, even in the 70s. Um, scared the bejeebies out of me. Never liked clowns, man. <laughs> Ever since then, I've never liked clowns. Um, but we didn't have to worry about things like that back then. I remember riding the, my Schwinn bike. Remember the old-fashioned Schwins that had the big S on the seat? Around the block. And then back. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. Can't do that anymore, man. It's a different world, you know? It's really sad. It's really sad we live in a world where we can't even take our children and our grandchildren to a circus. You know? But... This is the world we live in. We know why this is happening. Evil is abound. And as bad as it is now. Think about how worse it's going to be when all the good's taken out of it. You don't want to be here, man. So you don't give up. Because we're meeting at the marriage supper. Don't give up. Hold on to the Lord's hand. I promise you. He loves you. He's by your side. And he will strengthen you. The article goes on to say, imagine a world where the United Nations threatened to cut off aid to Hamas unless it released the hostages it's holding. 
they would walk free the next day. Sadly, that's beyond imagine, imagining. The body is institutionally anti-Israel, anti-democracy, and anti-America. It may be time, in other words, for the United Nations, the largest single UN funder, to turn off the tab absent a dramatic change. No more pretense that Hamas and Israel are morally equivalent. That America is Iran's mirror image, or that free democratic nations must koto, K-O-W-T, I've never heard that word, to the butchers and jailers of the world. I'll leave the link in the description box. I'm, I'm, I, I really do try to make my videos shorter. Um, I, I really do need to make them shorter. I, I apologize that they're so long. Um, keep looking up, family, and keep listening. We could go home anytime. It's going to be in the blink of an eye. So don't lose hope. Stay close to the Lord and put on the full armor of God. I hope you have a great weekend. I can't wait to meet you guys. God bless you. I will talk to you soon.